All right, uh, let's continue and uh, let's talk about this eBay application. And uh, this time we're going to be taking it to the next step, uh, meaning that uh, uh, when I run it, I know that I am uh, um, going and in, in, I'm doing the following. I, I am uh, I'm typing something into this, right? It could be anything which I could type like Yankee tickets or whatnot, right? And then uh, this time I'm typing like QTP on that. And then uh, we want to click on the, the search and then it brings uh, whatever it brings. It brings about like 208 results, right? So, okay, this is what I want to do. Um, I I want to type something in here, and I want to make uh, some selection from here, right? So let's go with some cars. Um, so we're going to be typing, um, let's say a BMW, and then I want to I want to select uh, from this drop down. I want to go and then select, let's say, if there is anything about um, cars, uh, we will we will do that. So. In order for me to do that, um, first of all, I I got to find out like what what is this this drop down, right? And uh, and then I got to select something from this from this drop down. All right, okay, let's do that. For that, I got to come back into my uh, QTP, and then I have to go and I have to add that object right into my object repository because right now my object repository right now on my page one um you know doesn't have that so I, I gotta go and then i have to add that right so how am i gonna add that for that basically what i have to do is i have to go and then bring up the uh the application keep it uh uh okay this is my ebay uh and i and this is what we're talking about we want to add this right i i want to add this 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 object um the way I'm going to add this object is if I could find out a couple of things about this object. Like, first of all, what kind of object it is. Now, how easy it is for me to find out what kind of object it is, right? I could send my object spy and he would find out everything for me. So, uh, rather than guessing what it is, uh, I could quickly use my object spy. An object spy uh, will uh take me to this object and then when i click on that object i know that it is it is a web list as you can see here it's a web list all right okay um and as you can see here uh it tells me that uh, the name of this web list is underscore sa cat underscore sa cat all right so that's what i'm going to add to my object repository so the way i'm going to be adding it to my object repository is i i bring up my object repository and uh, as you can see here I had already added that, but I'm going to delete it, right? So that you could see as how to delete something from an object repository as well. So I delete that object from the object repository. It is asking me, like, do you want to delete the underscore SA cat object? Yes, I want to do that because I I want to show you right from the beginning as how to add an object to the object repository and the object being uh, that select um, uh, list, right? Okay, so in that case, uh, my my browser is here. This is the object which I need to add. And the way I'm going to add that is I'm going to bring up my object repository. And when I bring up my object repository, I have this right here, which says add objects to local, right? So which is that little plus sign in there. Once I click on that, um, it is going to bring up my my browser. And then it tells me what, what you know, just, it tells me to just click on the object which I need to add. And once uh, I bring my hand to that object, and once I click on that object, uh, here it is, this box pops up. And I want you to take a look into what, what we are seeing in here. In this box, what I see here is uh, it says that it is going in the browser. There's a page. And in that page, it is going to add this web list underscore SA cat, right? OK, if I hit OK, notice it did add it that over here. And the name, the logical name it has given to it is SA cat. I mean, do we care about that name being SA cat? Can we rename it? Sure, absolutely. We could rename it, right? OK, so but we have already covered that as how to rename that uh, in the previous video. So over here, uh, if you come and take a look, this is the web list object. All right. OK, now the object is uh, in my object repository. So how can I go and select something from the objects? OK, there are there are a couple of things which I could do for that. Now, when I run, I, I, I want to do this, right? So I, I bring up my browser. I wait for three seconds and I want to type um, uh, not QTP. Let me type, let's say, BMW, BMW, right? So I'm typing BMW, waiting for, doesn't matter, three seconds, four seconds. Let's keep it like three seconds. And now at this point, what I do is before I click on that button, I, I want to do this. I want to, I want to, from that, from this, from this drop down, from this drop down, I want to select this categories, which is the car, boards, vehicles, and parts. I want to select that. 
right? So, and I, and that I, I want to do it before I could go and then click on the search, right? So now this is the clicking of the search, right? So before I do that, so I keep my cursor here and I could say I want to record something right now, right? So what we're trying to do is, uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to show you that you could record wherever you want in the script, right? So we, we want to record now. There are two ways of doing it. Either I could type what I want or I could record. Now, uh, I'm not going to type right now because I've not shown you as how to start, um, you know, writing your own script. Um, so I'm not going to jump into it and then show it to you right now. So let's continue with the recording. So I am here. And then at this point, I want to start uh, recording. So I'm just going to go and then click on that. And once I click on that, um, basically, it is in the recording mode, as you can see here on the bottom here, you see that it is a red sign, it's in the recording. So I bring up my browser, I bring up my browser, and once I bring up my browser, I could go and then uh, drop down in this one, and then I say that, okay, uh, select this car, boats, vehicles, and parts. I do that, and notice as I do that, I come back in here, it inserts this line for me there, right? It, it does insert this line, where it is saying that, Hey, there is a browser, there's a page, there's a web list in there. And for in there, go and select, right, this car, boards, vehicles, and parts. Okay, I'm done with my recording. It is still blinking, so I have to stop it. So I just stop it here. And then what I'm going to do now is I just want to make sure that this, this is working fine. So I'm just going to run. Now, before I run, I, let me just put a weight of like uh, three seconds in there. And let me just reduce this uh, weight of... Uh, 10 seconds to 3 seconds, so we keep like 3 as inconsistent, okay? All right, let me just run it. So if everything is right, what it has to do is from the previous one to this one, the change which we have made from the previous one to this one is uh, uh, we change the, the, the text which we'll be typing is BMW. Then after that, since BMW is a car, I want to go and then the drop down, I want to make this selection. So uh, this is the drop down, which is a web list as a new object, which we have added to the object repository. And then we uh, went in and we recorded and we said that, okay, I want to perform. Uh, so I want QTPU to learn what I'm doing. So when I went in there and I recorded uh, while I did this, I went to this object, I selected from the drop down this. So let's see if it had learned that or not. So if I run it, if I if it does it, if it repeats it, if it mimics my action, that means that it had learned. So let's see what happens in here. Um, now, before I do that, uh, you know, uh, let me just cancel out. I, I, I have to make sure that my browser is closed, right? So let me close my browser. Right. And uh, let me just go in here, run it and then watch uh, what happens. OK, here comes the browser. OK, and uh, uh, it goes in there. Let's see what it types in that uh, box. Now, uh, I, sh I should I should stop saying box. I should say web edit. So in the web edit, it did type BMW. Now from the all categories, it, it took uh, and cars, boats and vehicles. That's what uh, it, it had selected. And then boom, there you go. It had it, it came to this page. And on this page, what we have is uh, uh, this is this is that motors page and all that, right? So it had uh, it it came to this page and then it is showing me whatever it is showing me in here. All right, very good. Uh, guess what? Uh, what we're going to be doing now is uh, you see this you see this advanced search. We we want to click on that advanced search. Uh, we we want to make QTP click on that advanced search and then go to the next page, right? Um, so. Uh, for us, for, for our eye and from our knowledge point of view, we know that it's a link, right? But um, I want you to just think in your head, like, uh, how can I make QTP learn this this operation? Right now, I'm not recording, so it's not learning anything. Um, but if I have to make it learn, so it, when I click on that, I come to this page. And in this page, what I want to do here is, okay, I'm searching for a BMW, right? So let me just uh, uh, go and select... Uh, um, uh, from here, uh, BMW and uh, uh, vehicle model. I want it to be like uh, huh, X5 series of BMW. And uh, uh, the year is, uh, let's say, 2008 uh, to 2011, right? Uh, it doesn't matter the transmission type and all that. Then after that, uh, we, we're going to go and leave the rest as is. And then we're going to go and then click on search, right? Um, so... Uh, and then we see that there are 224 for sale, right? So we're going to see uh, how to do all this in our ne next video. So uh, basically what, what we are doing is we are making QTP learn um, how to perform these actions. So um, 
I want you to sit tight. You would be learning quite a bit uh, from these videos, but uh, you just don't watch it. You have to practice it, right? So I would seriously suggest that you get QTP, you start practicing all this, and then you, you're going to be learning QTP. All right, uh, I'm going to be saving this as a eBay demo uh, version 2 because we have done some minor changes to it. Uh, so I'm going to call it eBay demo 2, and I'm, I'm going to be starting there in my next video. All right, so to conclude, in this video, I've shown you how to add a new object um, to uh, the QTP object browser uh, or object uh, repository. And uh, I also showed you uh, how you could be using object spy to go and find out uh, uh, what kind of an object uh, something is. And then I also showed you as how to record. In the middle of uh, the script, I took you in here and then we recorded something in here. So I showed you how to record that. Uh, and then when we ran, I showed you what we are going to do it uh, in our next video, which is uh, taking it to the next level by clicking it on the that advanced link. All right. Okay. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. Until then, uh, happy QTPing.